You know what I mean? Like his length, his knack for knowing the game, and uh, it was it was good to see him not only get that block but to make make them free throws. Chris, how important is you know having that those years of experience when you're coming down to stretching games like that? And, uh, it helps because I mean, me and Gallo, we've been in them positions a thousand times. You know what I mean? So, like we said, those other home games. That's what's fun about it. You know, you get in those situations and. That's when you got to execute. You got to rely on your defense and your execution. What does it do when, for instance, you know you were a young player and you get in games like that, or for Shea to be in games like that? What does it do for young players to come through with games uh, in those situations? I don't know. You got to ask Shea. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, um, like he, he is on man. You know what I mean? He experiencing things. He's figuring it out, and I'm gonna keep letting him do that. Chris, but, but Billy was saying before the game, when with these young guys, when they stay within themselves and do, you know, go to their strengths, other things will come together in, in time. I mean, what, what that philosophy? Do, do you agree? I mean, uh, the, the, the more you play, the, the more the game slows down and you understand situations. You know what I mean? Like I know what I'm capable of, but I also know, paying attention to their coverage, what they're gonna do. You know what I mean? So I know they're gonna double Gallo. That's gonna leave me or one of my teammates open. So I always say this: at the end of the day, it's a game. It's a game, so you just figure it out. In that situation on the game winner, do you have almost an exact spot you want to get to on the jumper, or are you more reactive? Uh, I told Gallo, we sort of looked like uh, traffic. You know, we was throwing it in, throwing it out. Uh, I was hoping it was going to double so I could get another wide open three. But, um, you know, if I get to the mid range, I always say that's my version of the layup. So I'll take that. Chris Reggie Jackson. I'm paraphrasing my close. He said, people don't boo nobody. If they're booing you, you've done something. I'm sure you've heard the boos tonight. How'd you react? You so, you know, they should boo me here. <laughs> I don't expect them to cheer for me. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Is that, there's so many Couple close more games and falling short. How does it feel to finally get the ones and nice. going out? Nice. I didn't even know this was our first road win. That's sick. Man. That was crazy. It was like, so I said, is it our first road win? Yeah, yes. Yeah. So we'll take it. We keep keep on moving. Keep on moving. Coach Don, last one for Chris. You've been with the younger players. Have you had to change your leadership style at all dealing with the youth on this team? Um, I don't know. Somewhat. At the end of the day, I gotta be who I am. Like I'm ultra competitive. I'm sure some of the guys, like, damn, he be tripping, you know. But it is what it is. You know what I mean? I got a ton of friends, a lot of teammates. That, you know, at the end of the day, we we here to win games. You know what I mean? so, that's what it is.